Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a kind of different video than my usual beauty videos. Um, I'm going to be doing a more story time type of video. Um, I've been watching a ton of these lately. I just think they're so entertaining and so interesting and you just learn so much more about that person. So I figured I would go ahead and make one of those today. The story is 100% true. I kind of wish it wasn't true. <laughs> so if you are curious to know about the time I could have died during my first kiss, then keep on watching. Alright, so just to set a little background of when this all went down, I was probably around 14, 13 or 14 years old when this happened. So I was really, really naive. I had never really talked to that many guys before and I just was really new to the whole dating scene. So basically I met this guy off of Facebook. Yes. Facebook. I just remember one day I got a random friend request from some, someone that I've never met before and usually I'm like kind of sketched out by that and I'm like no that's kind of weird like I've never seen him before but I don't even know if his picture was cute or not I don't really remember I just remember he had a lot of like hockey pictures like he was definitely a hockey player um sorry <laughs> basically I accepted the friend request. I think I had a few friends in common, so I didn't think it was that weird. I feel like as soon as I accepted it, he just started messaging me, and I was like kind of excited just because it was one of the first guys I ever really like talked to, I feel like. And so, and he was like older and kind of cute, and I was like really into it. <laughs> I don't know. And so, um, we talked back and forth on Facebook Messenger for a few days and kind of getting to know him, what school he went to, everything like that. And come to find out that he lives like on my street, like really close by. And I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Like I was all wondering why he didn't even go to my school. But he, I think he went to a private school or something. And um, <laughs> so we were talking and I guess one day he just decided out of nowhere to be like, you know what, we should be exclusive, like, you should be my girlfriend. And keep in mind, I, this is like little me, like, <laughs> barely no, talk to guys, and I'm kind of just freaking out. Like, I remember this moment, like, I was sitting in the family room where a computer was, and my sister was sitting on the couch, and I was like freaking out, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have a boyfriend, like, this is my first boyfriend. And keep in mind, we've never even met each other, I don't even think we talked on the phone before, like, I don't think I even had his number, but... He was my boyfriend and I was okay with it and I was like you know what I have a boyfriend it's official I don't even think we made it official on Facebook or anything but um, eventually I got his number and we started texting back and forth every single day for weeks and I still hadn't met him yet and my mom is pretty like strict and I understand where she's coming from because obviously if I told her oh hey I met this guy on Facebook and I want to meet up with him like that is a little sketchy and especially me being so young and there being so many creepers in this world I totally get it but at the time I thought that was so dumb and I'm like come on mom I want to meet this guy like I even told her I'm like I have a boyfriend and I really just want to meet him <laughs> and hang out with him I don't think I told them that I've never met him I don't know but basically she's like no that's not a good idea and she didn't let me see him so, of course, I had to find a way around that because he was my boyfriend and I really couldn't stand not seeing him. And I just felt like it was kind of weird being in a relationship with someone you've never met and I've never seen him. And he kept begging me, he's like, we need to hang out, we need to hang out. And I'm like, um, I know, but my mom won't let me. And so, I don't know who came up with this idea, but basically we both decided that I would sneak out and meet up with him. Now, this is probably like the stupidest idea ever, especially because I was so young. My neighborhood wasn't the safest area, especially at night. So, I mean, it was just a really bad idea. But so, I remember he was messaging me saying all these things that I have never heard of. Like, he kept on mentioning things like, I don't even know what I should say, but basically he wanted to, me to do something like a BJ. And I was like, what is that? Like, I didn't, I didn't say that because I didn't want to sound stupid. So little me Googles it and I'm like, I didn't even know that was a thing. Like, I was so, like, naive and so, like, innocent. I was like, you want me to do what with your what? Like, no, no, heck no. Like, at this point, I've never kissed a guy. I've never hugged a guy. Like, it was definitely not all going down in one night. So I was like, uh, you know what? We'll see what happens. Like, I didn't want to say no because I just didn't want him to, like, not like me because of that, which... Is stupid I should have just said no but so I was just like we'll see I just said we'll see but I was in my back of my mind I was like heck no <laughs> that's not going down 
And so we end up meeting up one night. I tell, I text her my address and I'm like, okay, um, I'll be out at like 2 a.m. or something like that. Because obviously I needed to go out a time when my parents were asleep, my whole family was asleep, so they didn't hear me, they didn't know I was out. Um, and keep in mind, this was probably around like January, February. There was like icy snow on the ground, like there was barely any snow, but it was like iced over, so it was like really like cr crunchy if you walked on it. Okay, so like I remember the night before I planned to sneak out, I like our stairs were really like creaky and you could hear every time someone walks down the stairs. In my parents' room, I had to walk past their room to go outside and down the stairs and so I remember I like practiced the day before like how to walk down the stairs without making a sound and you had to kind of go on the railing and it was I was <laughs> I don't know I went so much into this because I did not want to get caught so yeah I made sure that my plan of attack was in place I knew exactly what door I was going out of um, I knew exactly like how it was gonna go down and I was freaking out obviously because I've never done anything this like risky I guess like I was a really good kid growing up and I've never did anything like this um, prior to this happening so I was like uh, I don't even know if this is a good idea I didn't even tell my sister I didn't tell anyone so I definitely could have gotten murdered or something but so it's the night of this plan of attack and I'm texting him and I'm like okay okay I we'll meet you outside my house at this time. And he's like, okay, cool. And so um, I just remember that night, I <laughs> I was being really slick with my mama. So I put on the clothes that I was gonna wear, like a really cute outfit in my opinion. I don't even know what I wore, some jeans and a t-shirt or something. And I put that on and then I put my pajamas over that so my mom didn't see that I was wearing clothes. I don't know why I did that, I could have just changed. But for some reason in my mind, I'm like, that sounds genius. I was being like a little, sneaky spy, I don't know. And so I did that and I was really nervous that my mom would find out and yeah, so then she went to bed. Um, I went to bed, well not really, I was just laying in bed forever and like texting him and I like really prepped well for this. Like I was rinsing my mouth out with mouthwash, making sure my teeth were really clean because I knew I, I was going to get my first kiss that night, I just knew it. And so I was like really making sure everything was prepped, you know, had chapstick on, perfume <laughs> like I went all out I mean I'm pretty sure I didn't want to have makeup on I did not look cute I'm sure because back then I was a hot mess and then some so I don't even know what he wanted with me but <laughs> I guess he just knew I was like a naive little girl and would have done anything um which obviously that's all he wanted but I didn't know that at the time so I um went, went out I went through with the whole sneaking down the stairs snipping out the door I was really nervous because I had to walk past my parents' room outside and I was stepping on the snow which was really loud like I said earlier like it sounded like you're stepping on broken glass like it was so loud and my parents' room was right up there and I was down here and I'm like oh my gosh what if their window was cracked open or like what if they heard me and I was like freaking out but I just kind of did it as fast as I could so if they heard it I could have been out of there before they even saw someone there and so I see a figure of someone like this it's dark outside it's 2am it's freezing I'm wearing like a jacket and I'm still freezing I can't feel my hands it's freezing as heck like so I see this person standing in the street outside my house and he's wearing like a hoodie and um, I don't know honestly he probably looked really really sketchy to anyone else but me but in my mind I'm like oh my god it's freaking Prince Charming out there you're like that is my boyfriend he's so tall <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking but I just remember being so like nervous and excited and so I run up to him and give him a big hug like assuming that it was him <laughs> which that I feel like this is the part where I totally could have died which I know you guys are thinking like obviously no one I didn't die I really wasn't like it's not like he held a knife to me or anything, he was just a normal guy, but I was so stupid. Like, I've never even, like, talked to him on the phone during through this point. I don't think I did. I don't even remember at this point. This was so long ago. But, uh, <laughs> so I give him a big hug. I remember he smelled pretty good, and he was, like, super tall. He's at least, like, six foot, and I'm five five, so he was, like, dreamy and tall, and I was like, Oh, this is my boyfriend. I'm hugging a big teddy bear. Yeah, and so I'm pretty sure we kissed right there. I don't even remember. But in my head, I'm like, I don't even know what we're going to do now because we can't go inside my house. We can't go anywhere. So we just kind of like walk down the road and down the road to the left, I have like, a there's like a little trail like right behind some houses in my neighborhood. And this trail is a little sketchy, especially at nighttime. I've, I know there are like a couple of people that have gotten killed <laughs> on that trail. 
and I just knew it was kind of a sketchier trail to go on without any adult supervision. Like I've gone on that trail riding my bike with my parents, but it's like that's different than like going alone at like 2 a.m. So with some strange guy that I don't really know. So at least I had some common sense because we started going into that trail and I was like, uh, maybe we should like not go all the way in. So we like kind of stayed like closer to the road instead of like going all the way in, which I thought that's what he was gonna do. And I'm like, heck no, I'm not that stupid. So um, I made sure we didn't go all the way in the trail so I didn't get murdered. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so then we ended up like just walking around. And I remember that part was like so romantic in my eyes. I was like looking up to the moon and it was like a full moon. And I was with my boyfriend for the first time. and. I don't know, it was just like, in my mind at the time, I felt like I was in a movie, it was just, I don't know, I was hugging, we were just holding each other, it was just nice at that time. And, um, <laughs> so then we are, start walking back to my house, and he decides to, like, go sit on the side of the road for a second, he, and I'm like, okay, whatever, like, I just wanted to spend more time with him, like, I didn't really want to go home yet, even though I was really, really freezing, like, it was probably in the 20s or I don't even know how cold it was, but it was freezing, and I didn't have proper, like, a proper jacket on, I just had, like, a sweatshirt and some jeans, <laughs> and, like, I think I had my Ugg boots or something, and my hands, I just remember my hands being so cold, like, I couldn't even feel them, because I was out there for so long, and so we're sitting on the side of the road, and the ground's freezing, so I think he offered for me to sit on his lap, and I'm like, okay, so I'm sitting on his lap, <laughs> and... We start to kiss, and it was the grossest thing ever. <laughs> like, I, ugh, like, I will never forget this. This is, like, disgusting, but basically, so you know how I said I prepped earlier with the whole mouthwash thing, just in case all that went down? I was prepared. He was not. <laughs> like, I could definitely tell that he did not brush his teeth. I can kind of taste whatever he just last ate. And keep in mind, we both had braces at the time, um, which I just feel like also was really gross. And it was just really sloppy, like spit everywhere. It was, it was nasty. I was like, this is what kissing is? Like, I don't want to kiss if this is what it is. Like, it was so gross. I was like, I almost threw up in my mouth a little bit just thinking about it. Like, it is just nasty. It was nasty. So, I mean, I mean, obviously I just went with it because it was my boyfriend. I didn't want to like be like, nah, let's stop because your breath stank <laughs> but so I mean we did that for a little while and he asked me about that thing earlier that I did not want to do and I was like yeah no not today I just was like no I'm not ready for that and he was at least he was respectful of that and was like okay whatever um and so yeah that was basically it and then he I think I feel like after I said no to that he kind of was like over it and he was like okay well let's take you back to your house and so we walked back to my house another big hug Walked back inside, and oh, I forgot to totally mention this at the beginning, but I ended up telling my sister that I left because I think she heard me get up, or maybe I, like something in the back of my mind was like telling me to tell someone before I leave just in case I do die. So I think I told my sister, and of course, she was freaking out and she's like, Don't do it, please don't do it. Like, you're gonna die, like, you don't even know him, just don't do it. And um, obviously, I did it <laughs> anyways, and I'm like, Just please, like, have my back and if mom comes like you can tell her I guess but just please just like keep it on the down low right now don't tell mom unless I don't come back in a few hours or something and so I just remember my sister was like texting me like back then I had like my first phone and it was like a flip phone and I just remember she kept texting me and my phone kept going off when I was with him and I'm like yeah I probably better go and my sister's freaking out and whatnot and so I go back inside go upstairs made it in okay I just remember my hands were freezing like I just remember I could not feel my hands and uh, my sister's like just chilling in her in her bed, I think. And I'm like, so I just met my boyfriend, told her about my first kiss, and she was like, you could have died. And yeah. <laughs> so that is basically it. So if you were wondering what happened with that boyfriend, uh, basically we talked, we texted back and forth a few weeks or even days after. I don't even know how long it was after that happened. And I just remember he texted me one day. I was in math class with my friend. And he said, I hate to tell you this, but I just made out with this girl in a bathroom stall or something like that. And I'm like, I was like so heartbroken just because it was like my first boyfriend. And 
I don't know. I was just like so torn apart because like my first boyfriend like cheated on me and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> like how could you do this to me and stuff like that, but I got over it pretty fast because I mean I only met him one time. We only had been talking for a few weeks. It wasn't like the end of the world at all. Like I've had way worse breakups. So that is basically that. <laughs> I learned my lesson about not dating f-boys because he was definitely the definition of an f-boy like that's all he wanted he obviously did not care about me because he you know made out with some girl for no reason at school so I mean it was definitely a growing lesson and I learned that guys are not always as genuine as they seem to be and yeah that is my story of how I almost got killed on my first kiss I mean, I always wished my first kiss story could have been this romantic scene from a movie, but it's definitely not. I mean, in my eyes, I kind of thought it was at the time, but looking back on it, it's definitely not the best way to spend your first kiss. So, I always wish I could redo it, but that is how it turned out, and yeah, I've never really talked to him since. It's been like, probably like eight years now, and yeah. <laughs> So, the off chance that he sees this, I still remember you. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I hope you guys found this video interesting. And if you want to see more story time videos like this, I would love to do them because I just think these are such fun, fun videos. As I said at the beginning, like I love watching them. I, this was really fun to make and tell you guys this story. I love telling this story. It's just, I just think it's so funny how stupid I was back then. Yeah, so if you guys enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.